No matter how pushed you are, you can still trust in God to help you. Before every breakthrough, there's always a storm. That storm would want to consume you, but at the end of the day, you would be surprised at the outcome because God will move mightily in your life, more than what you expected, far beyond your dreams and imagination. That is what God is going to do. The book of Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, Now to him who, by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us, can carry out his purpose and do super abundantly, far over and above all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. God is fully capable to do everything that you've prayed for, your thoughts, your dreams, all that is Christ would do. It might not feel like it right now because of all the hardship, but before success, there has to be the work, and that what you might be facing now. God is shaping you, preparing you to be able to handle what He is sending your way. And the devil, that we all know would not want you to reach your finish line because he knows what awaits you. My dear, don't allow the devil to tell you differently, to tell you that you're not loved. It's a lie, and the God that you are serving will prove his words on your life by moving mightily in your life in areas that you never saw it coming. That's where he would do a new thing. All those that mock you would marvel at the handwork of God in your life and would call you blessed. Keep hanging in there. You can do this. God would move mightily in your life because he said he would do it and told us to have our peace in him so you don't need to doubt. John 16 verse 33 says, I've said these things to you so that you will have peace in me. In the world you have distress, but be encouraged, I have conquered the world. Christ has already conquered the world on your behalf, so that problem would not defeat you. At the end of the day, you would come out strong. Christ himself told us to be encouraged and have peace in him. You have peace knowing he will move in your life. The world would give you distress, but in the midst of these, you will need to have your peace because you trust in God. I'm not saying it's going to be easy to see things going down and still trust God. But we know that he's never failed, and he would not start now. Though we cannot control the uncertainty and challenges that attack our lives every day, we can choose the way we respond to it. When you still trust God and have faith in him, he would do it according to your faith. The devil has always been after the life of every believer, and you, my dear, are not left out. He would send challenges to you that would test your faith on every level and make you doubt God. The devil wants you to respond in a way that would make you draw yourself away from God, but you can't give him that satisfaction. God makes everything beautiful at his own time, and his time is always the best. My dear, don't give the devil what he wants. You cannot trust God and be put to shame. It's just not possible. The assurance that you have in him that he's going to move mightily in your life, he would surely do it. Don't lose faith. Your situation might be such that everybody has told you it's not possible that you overcome it. But whose report do you believe? It is the report of men or the report of God. Jesus, speaking in Matthew 19, verse 26, says, Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. With God, there's no impossibility. There's absolutely nothing He cannot do. 
It doesn't matter what the doctor has said about your health. When God has not spoken, every other speaker is just making noise. God would move mightily in your life, but you need to have faith. Have faith in Him, knowing He would do what He has said He would do. Have faith in Him, because you know He loves you and gave up His Son to die for you. Without faith, there cannot be miracles. God wants to move into that situation, but He wants you to show Him that you trust and believe in Him. Ask yourself, how much faith do I have in Christ? You can choose to remain in distress and try to find a way to work it out on your own, but that situation would not last. And if you remain in distress and worry, that too would not change the situation. But you can choose to remain close to God and have faith in Him and your expectations would not be cut short. You would see Him moving in all areas of your life and things would begin to change for you. The Bible speaking still says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to any mountain, be thy removed and cast into the sea. It would happen because you have faith in Him. God would move mightily in your life. Start having faith and trust in Him. God is faithful to the end, and He would never let you down. God would do a new thing in your life, in that specific area where you're trusting Him to show Himself. That's exactly where God is going to move in your life. You might be trusting God for a life partner, and your age makes you feel all hope is lost. God is the owner of time, and He would do it for you now because now is the time to favor you. Your husband or wife is going to come into your life. Yours might be a job, and you're tired of submitting curriculum vitae here and there, and you've been expecting God to move in that area in your life. Don't worry, something new is about to happen, so get yourself prepared and see the hand of God moving in your life. All the places that you've gone before and they did not give you audience would begin to call you for an interview. You would be shocked at what God will keep doing. Keep trusting in Him. Where there seems to be no way and you've given up on that situation is where God would move His mighty hand in that situation. When the Lord decides to come into your life, every closed door would begin to open. Every barrenness would become fruitfulness. You are blessed beyond your wildest imagination. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Keep praising God. There is power in praise. Keep praying to Him, for His ears are not deaf that He cannot hear you, neither are His hands short that He would not straighten it out and bless you. Whatever it is that you are doing for God, keep doing it. There is about to be a massive shift. Sorrow might last for the night, but His joy that is everlasting comes in the morning. God would move mightily in your life. Don't give up, and you're almost at the finish line. When you face distress and challenges, remember to stay closer to God. He is always closest to us when we're down, because He wants to comfort us and give us strength. Working things out on your own would only make you more frustrated. Trust in God and His ability to destroy every mountain that you cannot face. God would move mightily in your life. In your going and in your coming, He would bless you. The challenges that you face are not bigger than God, so it would not kill you. The handwork of God would be seen by all your mockers, and finally, they would realize that you are serving a true and living God. You are loved by the Father. No one and your circumstance for now should not make you think you are not loved. God is already moving in your life, though you do not feel it. Don't worry, when he's done, you would say that truly the Lord is good.
My prayer for you is that you don't give up when you're at the verge of this mighty breakthrough, that you get the strength in His words and that His mercies guide and direct your path. Amen. Be happy and rejoice. God will move mightily in your life.